Hey, welcome back everyone. It's Joe from Ghost 1917. In this video, we'll take a look at how the Master Air Screw props performed against the OEM props and the ensuing accident, which almost finished off my drone. Quick disclaimer, the props had nothing to do with the crash. It was entirely due to pilot error. So let's get right into it. I initially ran the master air screw props to check for a difference in the sound levels, which was my primary reason for buying them. After running the props against each other, I really didn't notice a significant difference in the sound levels, only a slight difference in the pitch. But you decide for yourself. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison, which I also monitored with my trusty decibel meter app on my iPhone 13 Pro Max. You can see the two props had relatively the same decibel level, both averaging around 67 dB at hover and around 70 dB during a climb, with both props maxing out at 76 dB. The 85 dB max you see on the Master Air Screw meter reading was a result of a wind gust. After performing the test, I wanted to check the responsiveness of the Master Air Screw props, but as soon as the Air 2S was airborne, I began receiving a motor error, check propellers and fly with caution message on the fly app. So although I kept the Air 2S up, I kept it relatively close to me and switched her into sport mode and performed some quick flight maneuvers, checking the responsiveness to my joystick input, spinning around, sliding from side to side, then moving forwards and backwards. Then I brought the Air 2S back in and that's when it happened. I ran straight into a metal cardinal on a light post. It looked like that drone commercial that you see on YouTube where the drone crashes into the street sign. I can't tell you how many times I watched that and said to myself, what a dope. How do you crash into a street sign in broad daylight? Well, I finally got the answer to that question. Note the altitude of negative 11 and a half feet after striking the Cardinal. This was when the Air 2S bounced off the Cardinal and began descending into the water. You can see its reflection. Thanks to my superbly honed flying skills, the Air 2S recovered nicely and I was able to get her landed safely. I frantically began going through the controller menu trying to figure out why the obstacle avoidance hadn't kicked in, and then I realized it was disabled. So I tried to turn it on but was unable to do so. So I assumed I had damaged the Air 2S during the crash. So I turned her off and then back on, and that's when I realized I had never switched her out of sport mode after performing the aerial maneuver tests. Idiot. It was a total rookie mistake. First, I had forgotten I had switched her into sport mode, disabling the obstacle avoidance. And second, I was flying towards myself and was looking at the drone instead of the screen. So moving the right stick right sent the drone directly into the cardinal instead of veering away to the left. Thanks to Ian from Ian in London, who recommended the Air Data app, I was able to download my flight data and review every aspect of my flight. He has a video on how the app works, I'll leave a link in the description below. The app provides more comprehensive data than the DJI Fly app. Here's a still shot of the flight data I downloaded to the Air Data app. If you look at the right stick where the red arrow is pointing, you can see at the moment I began flying towards myself, the stick was forward right and so was the metal cardinal. Here's some close-ups of the damage to the Master Air Screw props. You can see the large section of material that broke away and other smaller chips. Others have said the brittleness of the Master Air Screw props is a good thing, and some even say it's by design, so the prop will break off instead of damaging the prop motor. I would have to disagree. I feel the props being more flexible and less brittle is better as they can absorb some of the impact and still remain functional. Although this was my first crash with the Air 2S, it's not the first time this Air 2S has crashed. The previous owner I purchased it from had crashed into a tree. Here's what the OEM props looked like after that crash. Notice only slight scuffing and scratching along the orange on the tips and a tiny notch on the leading edge of the one prop, but no significant loss of material. Granted, he crashed into a tree, not a metal cardinal, but it's evident that the OEM props held up better upon impact and as far as I can tell, didn't damage the motors. 
I'm certain that the DJI techs know what they are doing and have put countless hours into the design of every aspect of the Air 2S, especially the propellers, as they're the most important part of any aircraft. As far as the error message goes, my only guess is the weight and or balance of the master airscrew props are slightly different than the OEM props, causing the error message. Needless to say, I won't be flying anything except the OEM props moving forward. I also felt the master airscrew props felt and looked a little cheap next to the OEM props. That's just my opinion, so all you master airscrew fans, please go easy on me. I'd love to hear your opinions and experiences regarding the master ass group props in the comments section below. And as always, thanks for watching, and if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you in the next one.